Hello again and welcome to the uh, sixth edition of my series on Makai Kingdom and on quickly getting into Makai Kingdom's postgame. Uh, this, I'm hoping, is going to be a short video. Uh, there's something specific that I want to do and uh, I think I'm going to demonstrate how to do that and nothing else. Let's go ahead and load. So last time uh, we did what was kind of a boring video, admittedly. Uh, I had to do a little bit of farming. We got uh, just under a thousand mana, which is what we need to finance the next phase of this uh, this scheme that we're that we're enacting here. Um, so we've got enough mana now. Unfortunately, in the course of farming that mana, we did not find something that I was hoping we would find, and that's a bomb. Uh, but that's okay because I've got a plan for how to get one. Um, so let's see, we're going to do a tiny bit of sorting here. Uh, you might remember that we um, leveled up a few thieves a little bit, not a huge amount. Um, I really, I want to do as little grinding as possible because otherwise, uh, what's the point? You know, the whole premise of this series is that we're trying to like quickly and easily get into the post game. Um, and this method that... Uh, that I'm demonstrating is, uh, is is the quickest way I know how to do it, but that doesn't mean that there's absolutely no, like, it'd be great to find a method that has no grinding at all. I mean, um, we've done very little. I'll show you again. Uh, every stage, except for the very first one, which is extremely short, every stage we've one-shot it. Uh, we have not done any backtracking. We, we haven't really, well, okay, I can't say that. Oh yeah, so this is where we farmed Apple. Uh, and then we farmed our mana here, but other than that, every every stage has just been one shot. It's been smooth sailing. It's been fast. We've got less than three hours total played time, um, and we're going at a good clip, and we want to keep it going. But unfortunately, we didn't get that bomb that we wanted. Um, so I am going to try to remedy that in this video. That's going to be the premise of this video. So what we're going to do is go for some revenge in world. 3-6, stage 3-6. Stage uh, so what we're going to do is load up our um, casters in the doghouse just like we did the first time we played 3-6. This is, in fact, uh, you can kind of think of this like a revenge match because, um, excuse me, if you watched my World 3 video, uh, you'll know that 3-6 didn't go perfectly. Um, it was kind of, uh, we didn't really have the damage to take out that tank um, in short order like I wanted to. Let's see. But this time things are going to be different. And uh, <laughs> I am convinced that uh, I, there are lots of things that I could have done differently that that would have, um, like for example, the fir the very first time I went through three four, if I had invited my casters onto the field, they would have like gained a level or two. Um, Fatty also, you know, he would have leveled up enough to where he could probably like actually do some damage, and uh, we were only short by thirteen damage in killing the tank, which is really frustrating. Uh, we had lots of opportunities um, to to do things in a better way that would have uh, would have allowed us to. Um, clear uh, three six in one turn like we cleared most of the other stages in one turn uh, but sadly it wasn't meant to be uh, I'm not that broken up about it because it kind of gives the video character which is cool and uh, that was actually uh, believe it or not world three that video was a one that was the only take that I did and the first one I wound up uh, keeping it even though it wasn't perfect so I like that take I'm, I'm glad I'm kind of glad that things played out the way it did but I still want to demonstrate that uh, you can do it more cleanly and I'd like to do that now um, so what we're gonna do you saw I moved all of the thieves down here let's see but they still need yeah they, uh -huh. we're gonna buy them uh, UFOs and that's because in Makai Kingdom you steal things with UFOs. That's just the way Makai Kingdom is. I know it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe the Japanese have some association between like UFOs and crane catchers, because that's what the that's what the skill is. I don't know. Maybe that's like needs cultural context in order to make sense. I don't get it, but I love it anyway. It's it's wacky. It's it's fun. Uh, 
that's like Makai Kingdom in a nutshell. It's this crazy game with tanks and lightsabers and crazy stuff. And uh, I love it. Uh, so let's see. Craw, I want him to have better... Yeah, I still want him to be a defensive powerhouse, but I want him to have better mobility. So we're going to... Let's see. We're going to give him some armor, but not... Yeah, <laughs> bondage suit. <laughs> There's more of that Makai Kingdom wackiness. Uh, yeah, I want him to be defensively strong. What is his steel shield? No, that's going to lower his attack. But I don't want to sacrifice move. Uh, this is this is good enough. In fact, I'll just give him a... Um, well, what's that? Trench coat? Yeah, he can have a trench coat. That's fine. That's fine. This works for me. So we're going to save. Saving frequently is a virtue. We'll, we'll save over this old file. All right. And uh, here we go. Here's our revenge match for 3-6. Um, All right. So the first thing we're going to do, just like we did the first time we played this, we're going to invite the hospital right here. And we're going to have a thief, just like the first time. Lift the book, move on top of the hospital, and throw. And then jump at, into the facility to reduce our population. And then I think I'm going to do something a tiny, tiny bit different. Um, let's see. Drama, yeah. Now, ordinarily, I would invite a character here to, yeah, like right, right here to expose this um, extension. But uh, I, I, I think there might not be a need to do that. Instead, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I think this will work. Let me see. I was thinking about how to do this stage when I had this idea. Let's see. Yeah. Stand by. You throw. Will this work? Oh yeah, easy. And there we go. Now we've uh, revealed the final extension, but we didn't have to reveal the middle one. That's good because uh, that means we don't have to brave any of the dangers that would be posed by enemies in this extension. And also, uh, we're going to be tossing the tome over here where we will be completely safe from the enemies in this extension. So that's going to make this whole uh, process a lot safer. That's a good optimization. Uh, so let's see. So now, you go in there. We just need one more. I don't want to. I don't want to use one of my thieves. I'll use somebody else. Let's let uh, let's let our merchant do it. Another minor mistake that I've been making is I haven't been inviting <laughs> my merchant onto the field to get any experience, and she's still level one. Uh, that's okay. Um, before too long, we're, we're going to be addressing that. All right. So. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to have one more. Well, let's see. Where's our? Okay, yeah. So we'll invite invite the doghouse right there. Yeah, we're in good shape. And we're going to start queuing up our magic again on this tank, just like we did the first time we had to play this stage. And you'll notice my my levels are still. Uh, low here. They're still level 7. Not that much has changed since the first time we did this. Um, but I want to demonstrate that it can work. It can it can potentially work better than it did uh, the first time we did this. That was a really imperfect run. We still cleared it, uh, but it was it definitely could have been cleaner. We're going to try to get a little bit cleaner right here. So that's five. You know what I, I would like to do? I need somebody to, you know, we'll have you do it. Oh, that might have been a mistake. How are, no, no that's fine. So you're going to lift that book. I just kind of want it closer to, closer to everything. Uh, there we go. 
and then you get lost. Here we go. All right. Uh, we've got two casters left. Um, Mireya. And of course, Big John, the man himself. Uh, Big John here is level 11. Uh, that's not too far-fetched, actually, for being um, for being at the point where you're playing 3-6 the first time. Uh, that's a little bit higher than you're likely to be, but it's not huge, huge. Uh, I think this this still is going to serve well to demonstrate that you you can you you really can uh, clear this level in one turn your your first time playing it. It really is possible to just to, to one-shot this level in short order. So we've got all seven of them queued up. It's very important to do seven and not eight because you want to have enough population to um, invite a healer. One by one, you're going to invite seven healers. Each of them is going to toss one of your casters out of bounds. But if you've got eight from the, um, from the onset... Um, Yeah, if you got eight from the onset, you can't do that. <laughs> I wonder if my female warrior is going to win. That'd be, oh, no, that's okay. No big deal. So, uh, we're going to start inviting our healers. So, yeah, we, we destroyed the tank. I... Uh, this is more like, so what you're going to see is more like the way that I, I wanted it to go the first time we played this. You just one by one, throw your casters out of bounds. And you, you don't even have to throw them out of bounds. If you really wanted to, you could throw them into these facilities, but I don't really, that kind of seems riskier because you could miss. I prefer to just throw them out of bounds. It does kind of take a little bit of uh, skill to aim your to aim what you're throwing in Makai Kingdom. I wonder if we could do like a yeah. I was thinking of doing like a rim shot. Like I know that if you if you throw something and it hits a wall, it'll kind of bounce off. We saw that happen with the book when I uh, last episode when I was uh, unlocking the apple class. It was kind of funny. Uh, let's keep moving. Yeah, in general, in this game, when you're throwing things, you definitely, you want to be careful. You want to save often. There can be mishaps. Makai Kingdom is kind of forgiving about letting you um, cancel actions that you've input up until a certain point. But there are certain things that you can easily mess up. And you want to be careful. You want to be mindful. It is kind of somewhat sort of a cognitive game. Mindfulness does help. It's not completely brain dead. It's mostly brain dead, though. <laughs> Especially if you play it the way I play it. It's extremely brain dead. <laughs> Past a certain point. Okay, so... Now, yeah, we've got all seven of our healers nicely arranged here. All of our casters are gone. Uh, so we're going to invite our warrior. There we go. And we're going to queue up a combo like we've done many times before up to this point and like we will no doubt continue to be doing for the rest of our Makai Kingdom career because comboing is just great great way to do lots of damage great way to score lots of points definitely a great mechanic uh, 
and we're just we'll just use slash that's fine and we're going to execute And you see, we've got 1737. Uh, now there isn't, there, there's no reason uh, that we could not have done that um, the first time around. And I'm glad that I was able to demonstrate that. I, I hope I've demonstrated that adequately. You can definitely, you know, one turn, one shot this stage. Okay. Um, now we're gonna do something a little bit interesting. Uh, we're gonna end our turn, keep the death count rising. We're not done here. So they're going to get their turn to act. We're probably going to lose some of our population here. That's fine. There's one. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens here. No game. Oh, no. OK, gamble. So uh, this is actually kind of cool. I, I, I'm glad I get to demonstrate this. So our warrior here is now inflicted with gamble status. Uh, gamble status is scary. <laughs> when you're inflicted with gamble status, every uh, attack against you, every offensive attack against you has a 50-50 chance of either killing you regardless of your stats or missing you entirely. Uh, or normal attacks cannot miss, but when you're afflicted by gamble, uh, miss is is a thing that sometimes happens. So gamble status is generally bad. You don't want to have it. You can get rid of it with Espoir, which is what I'm going to do right here. There we go. And now these healers, since I don't need them anymore, uh, they are going to go into this facility. All oh, right, you're okay. You're, there's only five there, and you're the sixth. So instead, you'll go into this facility, and you will go into yeah into this facility. So now, uh, I think we kind of got lucky. We only lost one population um, on the enemy's turn. So we've got seven chances. Oh, and look at that. The bomb is her only piece of equipment. We've got seven chances to try to steal this bomb. That's what we want. And this is kind of like a um, this is like a last resort. Uh, this is something that you do, like if you've been farming and farming and farming in 3-4 and the RNG just does not want to give you a bomb for whatever reason, you can try to get one this way. Uh, and that's what we're going to do now. So let's just start inviting our thieves. I don't think the level difference is huge. She's 14, these guys are 12. Yeah, that's fine. I think one of them might have been, I thought one of them was 13. Was one of them 13? No. Uh, okay, there's five, six, seven. All right, and now we're just going to move into position and crane catcher so. you see each uh, attempt has a 45 percent chance to uh, to snag that item um, so oh this one's a 55 percent chance for summer I wonder why that is the same level but he's got a higher chance maybe maybe it goes up based on combo that's really weird i don't know i don't, I don't feel like slowing down to think about it right now um so yeah it appears to be going up like a combo okay that's really cool i did not know that was a thing and you see I'm, I, I'm still learning stuff about this game makai kingdom is deep Okay, so we should have a really good chance 
to get our hands on this bomb. 85%. Yeah, so let's go for it. Miss, that's okay. Miss, that's also okay. There we go. There it is. Now, I think all of the others, yeah. There, uh, she doesn't have anything left to steal. It's going to go through the animations anyway. It doesn't matter. All we have to do now is wait for these animations to end, have one of our thieves pick up that bomb, and then we'll just clear the stage, and we've uh, accomplished our objective. So, yeah, you. That's it. Okay. And... We, uh, we got over a thousand points, so we get everything. There's our bomb. All right, so uh, like I said, hopefully you won't have to do this. Um, if you have decent luck, you'll find a bomb before you start wanting to tear out your hair farming 3-4. Um, uh, that wasn't the case with me, so I decided I just wanted to make a quick little video showing that you have this option. That character is always equipped with a bomb in 3.6. So if you do this, you can go get one. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, things are about to get wacky. Uh, for real this time. All right. See you again soon. Three hours. Not bad.